Hello and welcome to our Blender Modify tutorial series where every modifier in Blender will be explained to you. Today we are going on to the ninth modifier which is the multi-resolution modifier. The multi-resolution modifier is a way to store multiple resolutions of the same object. Uh, now this might not make a lot of sense at the moment but it will in just a minute. So here we have just a normal cube and with the multi-resolution modifier we can subdivide the cube and uh, it creates well a subdivided mesh um, but this doesn't actually alter the mesh unless you apply it so there it is um, but the idea with this is that in multiple views you can change the resolution so you know in sculpt you have the resolution as just two and if you go into sculpt mode it's a lower resolution uh, and obviously same for render and the preview of mode um, so it can be quite useful for a variety of reasons uh, let's just go through what the settings are so simple is where it just subdivides the mesh normally uh, catmull clark is where it actually changes the shape of the mesh uh, so here are the options subdivide obviously just increase the subdivisions let's just lower that down again if we change one of these and then delete higher, they will all go straight to two, all go straight to one, etc. Uh, reshape is slightly more complex. Reshape, what we can do is, if we have a uh, mesh that's got exactly the same number of vertices, then we can create uh, reshape this mesh to be the same shape as that other object. Uh, optimal display will just uh, render the edges, or not render the edges, as you can see. And applying the base just modifies the mesh to uh, match the form of the subdivided mesh. So uh, let's just go and have um, a look at what it can do. So if we'll subdivide it a bit more, uh, we'll go into sculpt mode. Just sculpt some stuff. There we go. Pretty simple. And then if we go back into object mode and we change the preview resolution down, then you won't be able to see the sculpted mesh. If you go into sculpt, you will be able to. And you could do this the other way around. So you can sculpt in a low resolution and then uh, increase the resolution in this, apply it, etc. So it's just a simple way to basically do a low resolution sculpting and then um, increasing the resolution either when you render or just when you preview it. So uh, that's pretty much all I have to say about this modifier. I don't use it an awful lot. Uh, in fact, I've used it very few times, but I'm sure you know you may find it useful. Uh, thank you very much for watching this Blender modified tutorial. I know there hasn't been one in a while. Uh, unfortunately, my hard drive corrupted, which had a lot of my video stuff on it, uh, and that took a while to fix and I've also been pretty busy lately with other stuff but um, I'll try and do more soon. If you want to see our other Blender Modified tutorials you can view our playlist on our channel and if you want to be notified when we upload a tutorial then uh, just click that subscribe button in the box below. Uh, thank you very much for watching again and good luck in your future Blender projects.